All right, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you first off, I'm Brent Neighbors. I'll be your teacher for this semester. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we'll get into what the site is all about. Um, and here we go. Okay, first off, as I go through here, this is our uh, CIT10 website. Every Wednesday, I will have an online office hours at one. So after this class, I'm gonna have another series of online office hours. It's a little bit about our class in here, and that's my wife, and that's my first grandchild. Um, well, everything in this class is found right here under modules. Um, I have completed everything. Let me turn it for the student view so you can see it as a student view. I've done everything um, for this class already. It's just going to be you going through the steps. It talks about what's happening due each week. Okay. And we use um, the, there's, you go to the bookstore. If you're having trouble with the bookstore, you can email me. I'll send you some links of where to get it a little quicker. Um, it's $105, I believe. And it has two pieces of software codes in there. They're online um, software. So what you're buying is two piece, two cards wrapped in cellophane together. And when you undo them, it's like there's a lottery ticket and each card has a code. One for SimNet, which you see right over here and one for connect. Really important you have it because there's it's absolutely impossible. It is impossible to pass this class without having that information. So you can't find it cheaper. I really, there's two pieces of software in there. Um, I have worked with a publisher to get the price down as far as I can. Uh, if you were to go buy it yourself, it would say McGraw Hill, it would be like a hundred and something for just one. And then you have to go back and buy the other one so I can save you a lot of money by just buying it through the bookstores. So modules are all right here. This is what we're doing every week. There's also something else I need you to do. You always want to look at the calendar for this class. So when I come in here, you'll see, let it load here. All my work is due Wednesday nights. So everything is right here loaded. These are the due dates. So if I have a chapter nine quiz here, that means you're supposed to start working on it prior to the date it's due. You can do a little bit by a little bit and go. Um, the smart book is the big deal. The smart book is going to help you um, do everything, learn about the textbook. But I also have lectures and notes in here for each chapter as well. So calendars are very important. And I'm going to go back to the course. So I always say, if you're worried about due dates, go to the calendar first thing. So sometimes this to-do list comes up. Sometimes I change it. So always, again, look at the calendar. So we're going to go into the syllabus. And we're going to view it. As it loads. Um, this is a three unit class online. It talks about really kind of what I have. This is a cell phone number for me to get a hold of me, but I actually prefer you to email me through the Canvas email system. It makes it real easy for me so you don't get lost in the shuffle. Your ebook, you can get at the EBC bookstore. As you see, it's right here. I went to the bookstore, it's right here, it's $105. They are waiting, it's back ordered, and they are, they are waiting for more to come in. And again, it's just digital code. There's two of them in there. I know this access EVs. I don't know why it did that. I, it should just say, you know, Mr. Neighbors Courses or just Computer Essentials. Um, this throws everybody out when it says Connecting Access. Um, so there's the book. You just go right in there. You can get it. Let me go here. We come in here, and it says... Um, Purchase your ebook again. Where to do it? Here's what they are. Here's the ISBN. Do not really put your, purchase this anywhere else but at your bookstore or at a bookstore in the community college system. There's one other school that's using the exact same copies. Um, don't wait to do your digital codes. Get on it right away. Um, I can tell you. I can give you a phone number that'll. Directly, you can call somebody and they'll get you the codes. They're going to basically snail mail them, United States Postal Service, right to you. So don't expect instant results. 
If you call her on the, well, yeah, just don't expect instant results. Um, communication policy. I don't have Zoom meetings every Wednesday. Okay. Um, my office hours are online. One to 150. I usually agree Monday through Friday to get back to you within 24 hours. Okay. So if for some reason you don't hear from me, it's probably I missed it or something occurred with my technology. Go ahead and send the email again. It's just, I didn't get it or I somehow you got missed in the shuffle. Again, office hours, there's a link. I'm not sure if that's the same link. Let me look. Well, let me look if it's the same link as, well, we'll look later. Uh, we go down. Course attendance, this is online. It's really not work at your own pace, but uh, if something that comes up, please let me know by email and we can make some arrangements, okay? Accommodations, I already have some of them. Send me the accommodations. Um, so I know really how to help you better. Um, Evergreen gives free Microsoft Office to Mac users and PC users. And it's the full one, not the one in the browser. It's the one that is installed on your computer. And I will send out a link on how to do that and walk you all the way through it. Um, your computer and your network, are this is what it's talking about, are kind of your responsibilities. So if... You, if something you've had a week and a half to work on and you text me on a Wednesday night at 10 o'clock when it's due at 1150 and say, Mr. Neighbors, my computer's not working. That's the wrong time to do it. Um, always have a backup plan, have a friend's computer, have something. Um, if you would have started a little earlier and it was a couple days before the due date, I could easily work with you. So just, just remember that even if your network goes down, if your network goes down, you can, and you have a laptop, you can easily jump in the car. You can go to McDonald's, you can go to uh, Starbucks, you can go to Walmart. There's a lot of places that are giving free Wi-Fi, and you won't have to pay for it if you're struggling. But always have something in mind what to do if your computer or your network goes down. Um, assignments that we have, we're going to have a training in Windows. We're going to have a training in Word. And there will be four projects that are associated with it, which will be live in the program Microsoft Office Word. Then we'll have Excel. We'll have a little quick training inside of SimNet. And then we'll do four projects that are part of SimNet, but you will do them live in Excel. In Microsoft Access, we're only going to do some training. We're not going to do projects in it. PowerPoint, we'll have a training and then three projects inside of SimNet, and you will be using PowerPoint for that as well. Um, you may retake the application time up to seven times. I will take the highest. So if you're doing a project and you don't get the grade you want, you can redo it and redo it and redo it till you'll get the grade that you want. Um, I try to keep it within the due date for that project. So if words do, let's just say at a certain date, try to get all your tries in before the due date. If there's a situation, again, please email me right now. I'll say after the due date, no. But if you email me, we might be able to make some adjustments for you. Um, here's my chapters. We do chapters uh, two, eight, five. And there's one more chapter right here. It didn't get listed in there. I don't know why, but it is chapter 10. And then you're going to go six, seven, four, and one more, which is chapter nine. So this is going to change. I'm going to have to update this part. There's, there's one more. There's one more chapter quiz, and you'll be, have that for the midterm. And there's actually one more lecture, which is um, basically what is information systems about in the business world. And we'll go from there. I do allow you to take these quizzes three times before the due date. Here's the deal. You take it the first time, thinking, okay, I'll go back in. It doesn't show you the answers that you missed before you go back in for the second and third time. It just opens the quiz back up. So remember, don't don't some the old days you go in, take the quiz, get all the answers afterwards, check them, okay, and then go back in and take it. No, it's not going to be like that. You can take it three times, but you don't get the answers until the quiz is due. Okay. Uh midterm and and uh a final, you only get one shot at that. Okay. You don't get to take it over and over. 
for these quizzes, I do take the highest grade. If you retook it three times, I will take the highest score. I have discussion boards. I have multiple discussion boards. Um, and they actually, I'm trying to make them as fun as possible. I get it. Um, it's not like, tell me about yourself. It's actually interactive. It, it pertains to this class. And I'm hoping that you'll enjoy them. Um, here's our total points for the class. I think it's 600 and 860. It might go up when I get that extra quiz, two quizzes in. It, it most will go to 900. Uh, but I already give you one point. So my, my A's go down to 89. My B's go down to 79. My C's go down to uh, 69 and so forth. So I already give you a one grade cushion. So at the end of the semester, if you say, Mr. Neighbors, I almost have an A. I'll say, no. I already gave you a point. You're actually two points away from the A. Um, and that's my syllabus. So I'm going to go back in. So let's look at modules real quick. For this week, if you were to look at this week, first, I'd want you to go through the pre-class stuff, which includes a survey. But if you do not do the, the, uh, the survey and the orientation quiz, and there's a discussion. If you don't do those three things, I'm going to drop you as a, I have to drop you as a no show. So the, the quiz for the orientation, the discussion, technology and you, and the survey have to be completed by the 4th of September. Other than that, I have to drop you because I don't know if you're uh, a no show or, or, or just didn't show up. I will say last semester um, in one of my classes, I had like 12 students. I had to drop, and that was very odd. And what they they told me is um, a lot of students are registering, or there's people who are out there registering a whole bunch of students to get the financial aid, and then they just never show. Um, by September 4th, I got to clear my roster. So if there's something up, and if you contact me, we can work around that. But I'm going to leave it uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, uh, again, when you go into uh, Connect, You'll click on it after you put your codes in. Even and before that, you click on it. And we go in. I'm sorry, I'll go in as a student. My bad. That's the interface as a teacher. I'm going to go in as a student. Student view. Student view. This is what it will look like. Okay. You'll have all your courses listed, and there's little triangles out here the side. And to take to start the smart book, always do the smart book first, and then after you're done, you can do the quiz. These right here, these arrows will start the process. Okay, so if I clicked on here, it would open things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to go into SimNet. I click on SimNet. It bumps me out, which is okay. I have to log in as a person. Let's see, who can I go in? I'll go in as this person. Sign in and see if I can get in. Oops, let me try somebody else. How about this person? And as I go in, you're going to see this is, I'm going to go as a student view. This is what it will look like inside of SimNet, okay? You're going to have materials in there. You're going to have assignments listed. Let me see if I can get it going. It's not giving me that, but that's how you'll get in, and then all our products will be listed there. The nice thing is, under the modules, you will see how to log into SimNet. There's a little step-by-step because -step, um, SimNet for some reason does not integrate it at your campus into Canvas. So here's the process. Do not do the product purchase. I would do the courtesy access. If you have the codes, do that right away. And I know Evergreen doesn't have the codes in yet. So this is going to give you a courtesy access of 14 days. At the end of 14 days, it'll just stop the account until you get the codes and you enter the codes and you'll continue from there. Okay. Um, that says spring 2023. It'd be, it'd be, you know what I mean? It'd be uh, fall uh, 24. Uh, let me get out of here, go home. 
I'm going to uh, stop the share. And I'm going to come back and um, I'm going to send this out to everybody so that you can watch. And then once I turn this off, I'm going to sit here and talk with a couple of people if they have any other questions. So I appreciate you taking the time to uh, come listen and, and learn or even review on recording.